Hey everybody, BTFMC 1984 here again, and this is a new custom I just got done completing. Uh, I wasn't really ready in time for Euro Tuesday for Mr. Sensitivity, but uh, a day late's not too bad. This is my 132nd scale Volkswagen Beetle 1967 Volkswagen Beetle from Sunnyside slash Superior Diecast at has basically well seen better days. Old surfer car that's been beaten up, banged up, rusted up. This was a new technique I've tried. Um, I know some other people have shown how to do other rusting where they uh, make a solution with uh, steel wool and uh, use hydrogen peroxide to help activate the... Uh, the metal to really oxidize it with some water, vinegar, salt, whatever. I tried that, and it wasn't getting the results I really wanted. So what I did was I did that mix, and I let and I scuffed up the uh, car with the scour pad, and I let it sit in the solution a couple days, and it helped soak into the uh, white paint that it had. Let's get the surfboard off so you can see it. And I added, I put the uh, steel wool on top of the roof for a couple di for a day to help the um, rust get soaked into the uh, paint itself. And all like the darker spots right here is all paint that I added just to help accentuate the rust damage. As you can see, it's got uh, quite a bit of rust damage. Um, I was trying to do something different with the front fenders, didn't quite work out, so I. Just Trashed him up a little bit and a little bit more damage than I thought, but eh, it works, right? It looks like this little guy has been through the ringer. Doors do open up, and I guess I purposely made it so that the driver's door back here, driver's door sits askew. Like if it's been pried open, hit a couple of times, kicked, and it just messed it up. Now, with the sunny side superior uh, die cast. I did have fit issues with it from day one when I got this brand new. Uh, I think I got like a little five and diner type place, so I just got tired of trying to f always fix it. So I figured rusty, it's already going to be warped up. So it's nice and warped. As you can see, if I lift up in the hood, there is some nasty, dirty stuff under the bonnet. I still might go back in and detail the uh, spare tire that's in it, but you can see where it used to be white, and then the rust really took it off because the hood helped kind of cover it up from what it was doing. There is real rust on the wheels. You can see it's a little bit more better. You can see where my paint strokes have come onto the the body. I just wanted something, you know, look a little bit different. Now, my question is to you guys, I have left the front bumper off and one of the headlights off. My question is to you guys, would you like to see me add the front bumper back on and have the headlight hanging off by a wire? So it looks like it, no matter what this guy has done, the headlight is still just dangling off by a wire or should I leave it as is? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll test them both out. So thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody.